Hello there, beautiful people. So I uh, have a quiet moment here after a little bit of uh, training, a little bit of dissolve and some qigong and some other stuff, some, some stretching and some good things. And I wanted to share, for those who aren't aware, that I am offering both online and in person if you're in my area uh, dissolve therapy sessions and I'm gonna take a minute here to just to describe and explain a little bit about what what dissolve therapy is and how it works what it does why it's good because it's good a lot of people who are into the internal arts scene they uh, you know there is a benefit to the very deep and intense work that is involved with Tai Chi, with the authentic stuff, the Qigong, Neigong, internal alchemy, meditation, all of these things. And they're great. What dissolve therapy is, is a very accessible, simple way to access the conditions and qualities in your being, the mind and body, a way to refine the mind, the heart, and the quality of the tissues in the body, the way that the nervous system reacts. You know, we, we all have this fight or flight tension that is building in the mind and body over time. We have all this, this baggage, this trauma, and these things, uh, these layers of stuff that we hold on to, right? That deep in the nervous system and the fascia, the tissues, the mind itself, it creates this clinging, this tension. There is this attraction and aversion. Again, this fight or flight, this, this dichotomy, this contrast in our state of being that fluctuates. We, we feel open and free and relaxed and then something happens and we close down, we contract, we tense up, right? Everybody knows what this feels like. And uh, even here with me now, it's like, oh, that doesn't feel very nice. Everybody knows what this feels like or what this feels like. You can do it here with me now. It's like this is not as good as, as this. open, when we learn how to have the right quality of mind, the right internal state, you know, the mental state, the state of our heart, the state of our body, it allows the nervous system to go from contracted and bundled up, tight, wound up, to released, spread open. We can, through this method, learn to have a penetrative knowing quality, able to <clears throat> recognize the state of the body, the quality of the, the mind, the, the, the chi, the tissues that are, you know, the chi being this interaction between mind and body, the sort of fluid of the mind that uh, creates, you know, as the trigger is contracted in the mind, we are triggered mentally and emotionally, the body tightens, it winds up. To be able to be aware of this full spectrum of our being, and to be able to uh, use our attention in the right ways to soften and step back from the body, life, and reality, and soak the attention into the body so that it can release and open and fill with life so the fluids can flow efficiently properly like they're supposed to so that we can learn to maintain this ability to act from rest to cultivate in meditation what they're saying uh, about surrendering to this thing, the soul or the spirit or the divine that is higher than us, deeper than our day-to-day -day state of mind. What if we were able to walk through
through life. Have a practice daily where we were able to, at the very least, recognize and see clearly the stress and at its core the contraction, the reaction that we have that tightens us and binds us up and traps us in certain stories, certain ways of thinking, certain ways of being, a, a reactive, overly emotional uh, way of life that draws away or distorts the clarity and stability of mind that we could have in order to walk through life and overcome issues and problems and deal with our challenges more effectively. What if we could use this practice to become more and more ourselves, more free and fluid in our expression, more able to walk through life with a, with a strength, not a, not a tight, you know, fight back against life or just learn to run away from problems quickly, you know, this ability to maintain and sustain the free flow of life, the clarity, the openness of heart, a cool, calm, collected demeanor. This is what dissolved therapy is. This is what it does. We use body work, we use touch. If you're in town, you're local with me, or you want to uh, come into town or set up a workshop in Canada, BC, North America. I'm in Powell River, BC. And it's a little far away from other places. But what we're aiming to do is we're aiming to get it out there. There's quite a few practitioners coming along in uh, Europe and Australia and, you know, the, the sort of that half of the world and sort of trying to trailblaze in North America here and, and cultivate more, more dissolvers, more, more excellent, calm, cool, collected people and practitioners. So even if you have no goal of becoming a practitioner, which is possible when you allow this to become you and embody uh, this state of being that allows for us to have a certain depth and fullness in this knowing quality so that we can use the methods and body work to pass it along to people, have the right state of mind and heart and clarity and sight and uh, ability to listen and release, to recognize where people are at and help them go deeper and deeper. When you learn this, when you receive the body work, when we're releasing the organs, the joints, and allowing the nervous system to unfold, unwind, and unravel, and become more free and stable, clear, balanced, equanimous, tranquil, you can then walk through your life consistently coming back into that state. You can hold a baby. I have four kids, so it's a wonderful thing to be able to do for your children. It's such a blessing. Thank you, Andy, to my teacher for sharing this with me and giving me the ability to overcome, to penetrate through, to transcend, move beyond things that I deeply needed to overcome. I've done a lot of different practices, of different, different arts, martial arts, and the yoga, and the this and the that, and I've always had this innate draw and connection to the deep spiritual traditions and the authentic practices therein that lead us into a deeper ability to unify and, and soak into and absorb into and surrender into the union with the soul and with the divine, with the absolute. And this is the thing that has gifted me and blessed me the most with the ability to, to make these things work to have the right conditions within myself, to approach them in the right way. Even if it's something as simple as quiet sitting, practices that lead us towards mindfulness and meditation, prayer, qigong, all of these things. But even if it's a simple stretch and opening of the body when we you know, sink the hand away with gravity and let the head tilt, the ability to work on areas of our body that might have been carrying chronic injury, that are the, you know, the linchpins of chronic issues. I myself, you know, I'm not completely clear of these things. No one's perfect. But the ability 
to no matter what your issues and challenges are in the external world you face or inside your being, physical, emotional, mental, etc. The ability to create space instead of everything being jumbled up and experienced within and, and having our perception and our our mind and our emotions trapped in this constrictive space. The ability to at will command spaciousness and release, coherency, stability, a quiet mind, a clear, calm, cool, collected heart, a spacious and free body for the tissues to be able to redistribute and rearrange more effectively, more easily, more smoothly to make things work like Tai Chi or yoga or meditation, just in terms of being able to sit still and enjoy, thoroughly enjoy the tranquility, the contentment and the bliss and the joy that arises when we learn how to release the body and therefore release the mind, release the heart in the right ways. So we focus on the body because it is the thing, the tool that we can use. You know, the body is a reflection of, or maybe you could say it's the same thing as the mind. And we realize the true nature of the body, the mind, the fields that are creating this, right? We release the body and we recognize the simplicity of appreciative joy and the contentment and the ease of recognizing spaciousness and cultivating a restful space, a comfortable, content, appreciative, more at ease space in which to live and walk through our lives and interact with others. So this is the point I'm getting at about the body work and the training. You can walk into your daily life after either a body work or even online sessions. Body, the in-person stuff is the body work is where it's at. But when we train enough, we can assist people in recognizing their ability to move through this process and also begin to share it just through our own disposition, but also, you know, through a hug through the way that you interact and speak when you're, when you're looking, being able to soften your gaze, your perception and release around the way that you see things, release the ears and release around the way that you're listening and taking the sense of hearing in what we see, what we hear, what we say, being able to soften the jaw and tongue to melt the body, to become more and more deeply freed from the fight or flight, the freeze and fawn, these traumatic reactions, the uh, habitual contraction at the core of them. We can share this with people through living our life in this manner. And wouldn't it be wonderful, and this is the mission, to have a world of people that are more and more absorbed in a peaceful, joyous, blissful state of being, a quality of body, a quality of heart and mind. Wouldn't it be a better world? Wouldn't it be a nicer place? If instead of people walking around, you know, tense and angry and looking at the world like this and, you know, listening with closed ears and, you know, you know listening to other people with closed hearts and trying to interact with their children and, and with others and solve problems, deal with challenges with closed, tight bodies holding onto trauma and baggage, right? Ooh. It's, uh, I think it's the way or the reason that the world is the way it is, right? It's a lot of people, very contracted, very constricted, very unable to release and let go and soften in relation to others, in relation to themselves. So, this is long enough here. For a little while, just to get it out there and to help more people feel out what this is and experience it for your first online session, 50% off. 
I offer this to you. I'll put a link below in my email just if you want to contact me and either ask about it or if you are already interested and you want to take advantage of this half off if you're doing it online. If you've already had a session with me, maybe you've had one, one session or a couple sessions, 25% off. Just in order to assist you in deepening and uh, moving along on your journey of uh, release and surrender and to experience more of this goodness and to bring it out into the world. If you're in the Powell River area, Suncoast Integrated Health is where I'm currently doing body work. So if you want to come check it out and get a really good deep dive into the experience of the body work that we do and get some tips and tricks on how to stretch and open and release thoroughly and get uh, your transformation moving along to assist your meditation, your yoga and stuff like that, feel free to contact me and we can book a session. I have fairly flexible schedule I'm able to work with and I really want to spread this and teach others how amazing this is because it is such a blessing. There's a clarity and a simplicity and an approachableness with this that is very much needed. And if people want to use this to get deeper into like entire systems of yoga and tai chi and alchemy and all this other stuff or deepen their meditation and their prayer and all of these things or even just help recovery from the built up tension that you know if you're lifting a lot of weights you're doing a lot of exercise you're running a lot you're doing martial arts you're doing brazilian jiu-jitsu and all this stuff you know a lot of these people they might think oh this stuff sounds pansy or it sounds weak sauce or it sounds sounds whatever I don't care <laughs> if you want to learn how to more easily release relax recover let your circulation increase and uh, learn how to open up the body and have a practice that can really allow you to become deeply internally robust and anti-fragile deeply in the nervous system deeply within the neurofascia and the fascial webbing of your body and allowing the external musculature to more effectively release and recover it is beautiful for this stuff and it also helps you have a calmer disposition if somebody's coming at you and you're trying to grapple you're trying to do this and that isn't it good in competition in sport in whatever your athletic endeavor might be to be able to be clear, calm, cool, collected, and absor as absorbed into what's happening as possible, right? Isn't that a benefit to allow the, the mind to release from its worries, anxieties, and uh, all of this stuff, right? These things distract us, they weigh us down, the mind can get quite overactive and stimulated, just being in the world, just how the world is, right? So. This is it. That's what it's for. That's what it's about. Check out the links below. That's it. I'm going to go enjoy. Blessings. Take care.